Mmm, that is delicious. Fresh homemade fruit smoothie. Gotta love it. Hi there, Raul here and I'm back with another video. I was in the process of creating a video covering my top 10 bestseller stock images and my number 10 image was this food shot. I started thinking maybe I should create a video covering the concept of shooting food for stock. Although I've had a few commercial food photography assignments in my career, I really don't consider myself a food photographer so to speak. And generally speaking, most talk contributors don't focus on the food specialty. In my top tips for stock photography video, I cover the topic of either being a generalist or a specialist stock contributor. I'm a generalist stock contributor. Basically what that means, I will shoot just about anything and my portfolio of over 16,000 images is proof of that. There are numerous stock food photographers that produce some stunning work and are highly successful. However, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't consider shooting food as well because you may feel the quality of your work won't measure up to the specialist. If you've never shot food, then consider adding it to your portfolio and I'll show you how easy it can be done. Let's go back to my number 10 bestseller image. This shot was not from a planned stock photo shoot. It was totally impromptu, unprepared. I took this shot in 2013 at a friend's house who was hosting a party. My friend was grilling sausages and other food, so I started shooting and captured what I thought were several stock-worthy shots. I was shooting with my Fujifilm X-E1 with a standard kit lens using natural light. As soon as I uploaded this image to the agencies, it immediately started to sell. I was pleasantly surprised. This image has generated over $1,200 in income and has sold over 1,500 times. I can't believe that I've earned over $1,200 from an image of a bunch of sausages cooking on a barbecue grill. Who would have thought it? So what are my takeaways or tips from this and other successful food stock images from my portfolio? All right, takeaway number one, food sells, plain and simple. Basically, we need food to survive so it's marketed everywhere we look, from billboards to print ads. So we have lots of buyers out there looking for all types of food images you might as well take advantage and start capturing some food shots and start earning some extra income. Takeaway number two, you don't need to stage an expensive and elaborate shoot to generate a bestseller food image. In my case here, the set was basically a barbecue grill. You can experiment with close-up shots and capture different angles. For example, take shots from the top, take front shots, take side shots, get all the angles. Experiment with composition and get creative. Takeaway number three, you don't need expensive camera equipment to capture good quality stock food images. Generally speaking, food photographers use macro lenses and tilt shift lenses to get creative with depth of field and capture that dreamy bokeh, but it's not a strict requirement. What's more important is strong composition and good lighting. I usually have my Fujifilm X-T3 or my X100V with me wherever I go. I love the X100V for its small form factor and outstanding image quality, so it's always by my side. I recently made a video on the X100V and its accessories, so check it out if you have a chance. You're not limited to a DSLR or a mirrorless camera either. You can shoot with your cell phone as well. Takeaway number four. You can essentially take food shots anywhere as long as there are no photography restrictions. Obviously, with the current pandemic and COVID restrictions, we have some challenges, so you may have to wait for the right time and opportunity. However, when the timing is right and you're at a restaurant dining, then pull out your camera and start taking pics as soon as the food arrives. 
the food presentation and plating has already been done for you. So you might as well take advantage and capture some images. Food is food, so you're not limited to take only fancy gourmet food. If you're at a fast food restaurant, for example, take pics of that delicious fatty food because there are plenty of buyers out there looking for unhealthy food shots. Here are some examples of food shots from restaurants that I've taken over the years. These are shots from a trendy Asian restaurant. Here we have a simple bowl of fried rice. And here's a shot of a delicious pork bun, which I really enjoyed. And here's a shot I took at a fast food Mediterranean restaurant. One important tip is to find a table by a window to get the best natural light possible, especially a north facing window to get nice soft light. Here are a few more shots from restaurants that are frequent sellers. These shots are from a Mexican restaurant. They are very simple and more importantly, they sell on a weekly basis. It's evident I love Mexican food. These are shots from a Thai restaurant. Again, very simple shots, nothing complicated. Here's a shot from a breakfast I had on a road trip. Some fancy French toast with blackberries. It was delicious and the image is a frequent seller. Here's a shot of a Venezuelan arepa. This image is sold over 250 times. Here's shots from a trendy bakery that also has a restaurant. The images of these nicely arranged pastries sell on a weekly basis. While waiting on my order, I captured these shots of freshly baked croissants stacked on these baking sheets. And then my lunch arrived and I got this shot of a tuna melt sandwich. As you can see, there's lots of opportunities to capture food shots. It's not that difficult. All right, takeaway number five, include yourself or a friend or a family member in your food shots. You are not limited to just shooting the food. Stock food buyers often want people in the images. By including people, you automatically expand the range of buyers. For example, the healthcare industry needs imagery of people and food for the healthcare publications and blogs and websites. So don't be afraid to take a selfie. Food selfies are very popular. For example, here's a selfie that I took of myself eating a taco several years ago. There was a couple sitting at the table next to me and they were laughing at me taking selfies. So don't be embarrassed to put yourself in awkward situations. Honestly, I also laugh every time this image sells. But guess what? This pic has sold over 750 times. Here's a shot of my daughter enjoying a smoothie that often sells. Again, there are plenty of opportunities to capture food shots that will sell. Takeaway number six. You are not limited to restaurants for food shots. Find open air uh, markets and capture images of fruits and vegetables, meats and seafood. Shoot anything and everything food related at outdoor markets. You just never know what's going to be a bestseller. So continue to hit that shutter button. Here are some examples of shots from markets. This shot was taken at a Paris market and has sold over 500 times. Here's another shot from that same market of fresh salmon. By the way, there was an old man selling the seafood at that place and he got all upset because I was taking pics of his fish. So I ended up buying some smoked sardines from him and he was so happy that he actually started to arrange the food for me so I could take more pics. Here's a shot from uh, the, the popular Pike Market in Seattle that I took back in 2009 and it's still selling today. Here are other market shots that, that consistently sell as well for me. This shot of mangoes has sold over 500 times. Here are a few more frequent sellers. Again, there are plenty of opportunities to capture food shots that will sell. All you need to do is just take the picture. Takeaway number seven. If you don't have the ability to capture food shots at restaurants or markets, for example, because of COVID restrictions or other reasons, you still have the ability to capture food shots in your home. If you cook, then capture images of your cooked or uncooked food. Here's some freshly made shrimp ceviche I made. It was delicious and these pics sell frequently. Let me know if you're interested in my uh, ceviche recipe. Here's a shot of a ravioli dinner I prepared for myself. And here's a shot of a ribeye steak. Actually, this shot was from a proposal I submitted for a potential commercial job for a meat purveyor. They wanted clean shots of meat on a white background. So I bought this ribeye steak and took a bunch of pics. 
Unfortunately, I didn't get the job, but I ended up with over 50 images of steak. Well, they all ended up in my stock portfolio and they consistently sell. Again, there are plenty of opportunities to capture food shots that will sell. All you have to do is take the picture. Takeaway number eight. My last takeaway is that you should never leave your camera behind. You could lose out on some golden opportunities. So take your camera with you and start capturing some food shots. It's easy. It doesn't have to be complicated. You might get lucky like me and capture a $1,200 sausage image. Who would have thought it? Okay, this wraps up my video. Thanks for viewing and if you liked it, please hit that thumbs up. I have other videos on stock photography, so check them out for more valuable tips. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thanks and enjoy the ride.